I'm asked to draw a triangle ABC, which is a right angle triangle because ABC is 90 degrees. And I'm given the length of AB 4.2 centimeters and the length of AC 5 centimeters. So the first thing I'll do is draw a freehand diagram. First, I'll do this. It has a right angle, so might as well make it look roughly like a right angle. It's the angle ABC, and the middle letter is always where the angle is. So that's B, and that's 90 degrees there. And that doesn't matter whether A is there and C is there or the other way around. So that's the triangle ABC. Now put in the other measurements. AB is 4.2 centimeters. And AC, which is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. If you come out from the right angle, you'll hit the hypotenuse. So that's five centimeters. Now I'll follow this diagram when I'm drawing the accurate one. And the first thing I'll do is I'll make a right angle here. So I'll draw a line here and then I'll make a right angle using the internal angles or any of the internal angles of the polymath. So this little line is along the line. It's, you'd be more accurate if you moved in a little bit, but that's just being a bit of a perfectionist, I suppose. Now, draw that down like that. This is your right angle, and this is B. Next, I'm going to make AB should be over here, 4.2 centimeters. So on the ruler here, I'm going to get 4.2 centimeters. And I'll put the point to 4.2 just at that line there. And then I'll go up to zero. And that dot there, that's A, and that's 4.2 centimeters. Now the distance from A to C, the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse is five centimeters. So from here down to somewhere on this line, but I don't know where yet, is five centimeters. So I'm going to draw an arc with center A and radius 5 centimeters. So I'm putting the zero hole of the polymath over A, anchoring the polymath with pencil. Make sure it can move, won't slip away. Five, this is the 5 centimeter hole there, and draw an arc. And where that arc crosses this line here, that's C. And I'll join C to A. And now you have your triangle ABC, and that arc was 5 centimeters in radius so that length will be five centimeters now i'll go back to the information here the written information to see that i've done everything right and if i've made a mistake it should show up now the triangle it is called abc the length of ab is 4.2 centimeters the angle abc is 90 degrees and the length of ac is five centimeters so I did everything as was asked.